I have done a lot of astrophotography there as well. So, and, and I observing faint dwarf galaxy stars, you know, these are like 45 minutes, 55 minute exposures. So you actually have a lot of time. So I would run outside and just lay on the ground under the Southern Milky Way, beautiful right up, you know, there. And I would just lay there like the snow angel, you know, <laughs> and, and just stare up there and just kind of let my thoughts sort of pass through my brain and just like, I'm, I'm one of it, right? We talked about this in the beginning. This is when I personally have the feeling that I'm a part of it. I, I belong here rather than feeling kind of small. Yes, I'm small, but there are many other small things and lots of small things make one big hole. Yeah, right. we're part of that big hole. And um, so that's looking at the inner spirals of yes. the Milky Way galaxy. And uh, just, you know, this this dark sky with the, with the bright stars. And I have described this in my, my book um, years ago. If the Milky Way is all bright above you, you don't need a moon or anything. You can walk in the starlight and you will find your way. Mm -hmm. There are no trees there for safety reasons, <laughs> but you wouldn't even run into a tree, right? I mean, you can see, you can almost see the shadow, you know, from from the starlight because it's such a dark sight and and the stars are so bright. And these are kind of moments that that kind of change you a little bit. Mm -hmm. And it, you see the unity of it all. Yeah, and it's just you and nature, and you know, with modern civilization and all of that we i think we often try a little bit too hard to be removed from <laughs> from mm -hmm. nature you know to to be independent of it and figuring it all out but at the end of the day we're we're just a part of it and and that really helps me to remember that that you know we're one and the same well that fills me with hope that could i i tend to think of us humans as in the very early days of whatever the heck we are and so that <laughs> Makes me think uh, thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of years from now, that will be reaching, will be whatever we become, will be traveling out there to explore more and more and more. Yeah. So we're what you're doing is the early days of exploration with the tools we have. <laughs> yes, the early seafarers looking yeah. at the sky for navigation, <laughs> <laughs> coming up with different theories of what uh, what's on the other side. That the Earth starting to gain an intuition that the Earth may be round. And then we might be able to navigate all the way around to get to um, the financial benefits of getting spices from India, whatever the reason, <laughs> the, whatever the grant funding <laughs> process is all about. <laughs> but ultimately, it actually results in a, a deep understanding uh, of the mystery that's all, all around us. And I mean, it's just to travel out there. I mean, to me, the discovery of life in the solar system. I really hope to see that in my lifetime. Some kind of, some kind of life, bacteria, something, maybe dead, because that <laughs> means there's life everywhere, and that that's just the kind of stuff that might be out there. All the different, um, all the different environmental conditions, chemically speaking, that are out there, and it just seems like when you look on Earth, life finds a way to survive, to thrive in whatever conditions, and so. Uh, maybe that process just kind of humbles you and is super exciting to know that there is life out there of different forms. And of course that raises the question of um, what is life even? We tend to have a very human-centric perspective of uh, what is a living organism and what is intelligence and all this kinds of stuff. And all the work in artificial intelligence now is starting to challenge our ideas of what uh, makes human beings special. And I think we're doing that through all kinds of ways. And I think you're working some part doing that as well. Like the unity you feel is realizing we're, uh, we're part of this big mechanism of nature, whatever that is, that's creating all kinds of cool stuff from the humble, pristine origins <laughs> to, uh, to today.